Well, hello and a welcome. This is a Nate, and we've got a really nice mid-level home for you. This is made by Commodore Homes. This is part of their Astro series. It is going to be a three-bedroom, two-bath home. It comes in at 1,525 square foot. I believe I mentioned it's three bedroom, two bath. You've got primary bedroom at this end of the home. You've got an office, of course your living room. And let's see, what else did we have? <laughs> They're still setting things up. Oh yes, very large back porch over there. That's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> I knew there was a feature on this one. I wanted to make sure I pointed out to you. Kids bedrooms at this end. Of course, they're still doing all the final setups for everything. So we're gonna try to show you the back real quick. All right, so there is that back porch. Now we'll step out once we uh, get inside the home. We'll step back out on the porch and show you a little bit better. Of course, you have different color options you can get for siding. Just real quick, we'll point out you've got your water faucet right there. There was an electrical outlet down at that end. And there is your back door. It goes into your utility room. Check out this stonework they got on the front of the home. This looks really good. Forgot to mention also there's a fireplace in here. Love the entranceway on this home. You got uh, the recessed entry so when you're getting out of your car and getting ready to go in you can get out of the weather. So as you walk in, you're greeted with these windows right to your back porch. And your living room is off to the left. And you do have these beams running across the ceiling. Good sized living room. The electric fireplace. Of course the door was open so you couldn't really get a good look at the front door of the home. But you do have these, this really nice window in your door. So in the dining room area, you've got two lights above your table, the sliding glass door out to your porch. We've got hookups for a TV on the back porch here. You've got your coax and your electrical. Kind of a unique looking fan. Looks really good back here. Alright, we will uh, come into the dining room and finish taking a look at the dining room. Oops. Alright, so now we finish up with the dining room now that we're back out of the front porch area or back porch area
And there is a hidden feature in this home. I'm not sure if you can spot it yet. I almost missed it. In fact, they had their own contracted filmer that does the filming for their website. He missed it at the last show that this home was at. So it was hidden pretty well. And they've added some cubbies and some cabinets down below this side of the island. We have the Whirlpool stainless steel appliances in this home. Of course, you can get different options. But normally, when you have the hidden pantry, the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. So that's how I almost missed it. In fact, if it wasn't for one of the reps pointing it out, there's a good possibility I might have missed it. So we have our racks for the pantry there, and then we have the butler style pantry over here, all combined into one. But with that design, just blends right in with the rest of the stuff. I didn't even notice it. Of course, we got to open up the largest drawer they've got. So we do have drawers above all our doors. Got the matte black. Um, I'm not sure what style of material that sink is. It doesn't feel like metal. It feels like a composite. Let's not forget, we have the Lazy Susan. Nope, not a Lazy Susan, just a large corner cabinet. So this house is all full of all kinds of surprises. <laughs> Come back this way to the bedrooms. So there's our furnace. In bedroom number one. Now, of course, they've still got some stuff stashed away in the bedrooms, and, you know, they're still trying to finish everything up. Let's see if I can get into the closet with the tool bag right there. So here's your closet. Just kind of show you real briefly. There's some coats and stuff like that in there. In bedroom number two, Let's see if I can come this way and get you another shot. Seems how they got stuff in the corners where I usually stand. This closet's going to be packed full of all the trim supplies and stuff. And then we have our water heater back behind this panel. And then the second bathroom. Hello, Raiden. So we got the square sinks and really nice faucets on this one. Looks really good. Let's see, does the window open? Yes, the window opens. <laughs> In the shower tub combo. And our utility room is at the very back of the home. 
So you just got your washer and dryer hookups and then the wire rack up above. Since the back door is open, I can come out of this side and show you. Now back to the other end of the home. <laughs> and this is where your office is at. Apologize for the noise. Like I said, they are still trying to finish up with some stuff. It's a good size office space. And then we have our coat closet. and our primary bedroom. So now most of the home, as you can see, has the linoleum. All the bedrooms have carpet in them. Now if you didn't want carpet, I'm sure you could option the carpet out. And lest we not forget, we have the porcelain or the square sinks in the main bathroom. Same window as in the previous bathroom. So yes, it does open up. And this has the tile going vertically instead of horizontally. And it has that textured tile that kind of looks like a, a fabric. They, get, they call that a matte gray. Seems how I had some representatives to ask about them finally. I figured I would ask. And our closet is off the primary bathroom. A great big window there and a bench to sit at. And as we finish up with this uh, Commodore home here, so don't forget to leave me a comment down there in the comment section down below. All right, as this is a very popular home, we're gonna step outside to do the outro. So make sure you're hitting the like button, the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff, leaving me a comment. Share this video with your friends and family, that way uh, they can see this home also. I know there's somebody that's gonna to wanna to see this. And I will be back shortly with some price information. Thanks for watching. All right, well, I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end. We just got done touring this brand new Commodore home at the 2024 Louisville Home Show. Now, obviously this is a mid-level home, so we gotta get some price information out for you on this one. But before we get there, some of you might have noticed a little green line going across the bottom of the screen. So there's been some comments that people don't like the pictures at the beginning. It kind of gives away, or they've said, you know, why show the pictures if you're just gonna show us later? So for those of you that wanna skip over the pictures, that line starts right here as we start the pictures and it'll go all the way across timed with the timing of the end of the floor plan so if you want to skip over all that just follow that line if y'all ain't seen friday's video y'all need to go back and watch friday's video i don't know what happened there's a similar one on somebody else's channel that's got over a million views so y'all need to go back and watch it because this is the one that started all of that like what the other guy has so Y'all need to go back and check that one out. Trust me, it's a nice one. 
and it's made by Ritz Craft Homes. So now we got to get some price information on this particular Commodore home. So now, as I said, it is a mid-level home. It is 1,500 square foot. It is a modular, so you're going to have a little bit of, of extra price included in that because you've got to have the crane and the foundation and all that kind of stuff. So that's going to add a little bit of price to it. So this is at a home show. So we don't know what kind of freight charges there's going to be, you know, how far the home's going to go, city, county fees. There's a lot of variables that can come into play on this. So all I can give you is an estimated retail price of how much this home is going to cost you when you put this home on your property. So with that said, I've also got all of the add-ons that they did with this home. So you can see that you'll be able to save a few bucks, like actually up to $30,000 on this home. That's how many options they put into this home. Estimated retail price on this home has it going for $160,000 for the estimated retail price. Now, if you optioned it out and just got the straight up base model, you could get a modular home, roughly $130,000. But for somebody that's looking for a permanent home, it's gonna go up in value because it is a modular, it's on a foundation. That's a really good price. Make sure you're hitting the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all the good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.